we've got a bit of refreshing for you. So this is Kid Rock, and we're going to talk about one of his later releases. This is actually almost 10 years old, and it's Rock and Roll Jesus. Now this record, you know, Kid Rock was at a point where he was seeing success, but the guy wanted to go a different route, and I kind of know how that's like, just because I've noticed that a lot of rappers don't really resonate with anyone that's not listening to rap music. And I feel like apart from maybe Eminem and Jay-Z, <clears throat> there's very few people that someone like Tyra Banks or um, Tia Leone would mention. And, you know, like, to be fair, I do feel like Kid Rock is at the point where he's serviceable to these sorts of things but the problem with it is is when you start trying to get more appeal you kind of lose some of the touch that made you good which is the big conflict of interest for rock and roll jesus is that it you know it's you think you're gonna think well this should be a rock album but he doesn't really do the rap rock rap rock thing and in a lot of ways I just felt like it was really underwhelming. I like the idea of kind of embracing southern rock a bit but the point being is sometimes that stuff needs to be left to the 80s and you know really I feel like the sound he had on Devil Without a Cause was mastered this was the sheerest thing that he could have done and we had tons of records that kept the energy going made you want to get up and do donuts in your car or something that just made you really want to cut loose and it this album feels so restricted because he had other things that he wanted to let us know about but it does not it's just not as captivating so this is a this is a this is a weak album in comparison to what kid rock is capable of doing but it still does have some song. I mean, it, it, you know, it's just like, you know, this is Kid Rock. You know he can make you smile, but you just, you only get it in glimpses more than like a full on thing. So, can you smoke to this? The answer is, I don't really feel like that's the purpose of this CD, but I do feel like songs like So Hot, Sugar, and rock and roll jesus the title track these three songs are at least something to kick back to now the production this is the thing there's going to be about half the album that's more has a more southern rock sound something you'd hear at some bar on the outskirts of town or something you're going to hear that. And I mean, I don't know who these characters are, but there's just a lot of stuff that has a different style. And, um, you know, because the genre, you know, it says on my computer that this record is metal, but it just doesn't feel like that to me. Metal, I consider like Metallica and... Um, you know, some of these other cats out there that are heavy, heavy metal and that sort of thing, Creed even, but it, it, it's not that hard. That's the one thing you're going to notice, and you'll notice it quickly about the, that release, is it's not hard at all. So, but the unheard songs, these are the songs that I liked, and... Um, I like at least four songs out of 12. 
definitely go for Sugar and So Hot. Those are the, the gnarliest songs on this album. And pretty much the only other song that has like metal from the Devil Without a Cause days is Rock and Roll Jesus. So those three songs are your metal songs. And then I did kind of like the guitar, the I, I, I don't know if I want to say licks, but the relative good guitar that even though it's relaxed is still worked on roll on. So that was one that I liked. And then there were a couple almost songs, Low Life and Don't Tell Me You Love Me. I may end up liking these further down the road, but you know, Low Life I just couldn't get into the the guitar on that one. It felt like something you hear out of a movie or something. And you know, one of it. I don't know. It 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 just doesn't feel masterminded as much, and I don't know. There's just so much to be said. I could go on for a good fifteen, twenty minutes talking about the problems with it, but the answer is is at least half the album has some of the metal that you're looking for, but it just is very seldom, and I mean that very. So. What you're going to find on the half of the album that I didn't like are songs that are more kind of kick back, you know, hang out on your front porch, look at a sunset, and just tell crack jokes all day or something. But, you know, the, the problem with that is, is when you, when you're relaxing a bit too much, you know, it passes you by what you're supposed to be doing. And, you know, I really don't want to spend my, I really don't want to spend my days watching others do what I'm supposed to be doing. So that's kind of the thing is just, it feels as if he's kind of in wind down mode instead of geared up mode. And that just isn't really, it's, it's just not nearly as interesting. So, um, but I, I want to recommend this album, but it's just a shade beneath me being able to do that. So I'm going to give this album, because of the four songs out of 12 I liked, I should give it a three or three and a half. But because of the two almost songs, I'm going to give it a solid four out of ten. So obviously if I liked and I knew like three months from now, four months from now that I would like six out of 12 songs like I'm almost liking, I would give this album a solid five. But until I know for certain it gets a four and the future, Kid Rock has dropped an album this year, but I don't think it's metal that much. So you're going to have to take, you're going to have to figure that out. And the social score, I will give it a five and a half out of ten just because I know there's crowds of people that are going to be different from me. And also, this album did have charting songs. So most Kid Rock albums do, but it, it, it's just not my style. And yeah, so that's kind of the big thing. Wow, a minute really passed barely been talking um so yeah can it be topped absolutely you know i definitely would like to think it could be topped but this you know you're gonna hear these good songs and you're gonna be like damn it <laughs> i know that's what you're gonna be thinking so subscribe for more fun i give this album a four out of ten and a five and a half social